You don't need to clap. I didn't do anything. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I think this is my 12th year at Focus Right. Um, I think I'm the entertainment today. Uh, this is very much not in the travel technology group, but um, what I've been building the last uh, 20 years, actually, I'm sure a lot of you know Car Trawler, a car hire aggregator, and Mailey, which I'm currently, I've co-founded with Mike McGurty, the CEO of Car Trawler, to disrupt Car Trawler and other brokers. And what I'm here to tell you about today is MANA, which is a drone delivery business that I've been building for the last five years. And just so you know, drone delivery is real. We're live today in Dallas, Texas, and in Dublin, Ireland. We've done about 150,000 delivery flights. And in the context of world deliveries, food delivery, today there are about 5.2 billion food deliveries between the top three food delivery aggregators, DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Just Eat. So the numbers are very large. It's a $300 billion industry today, growing at 20%. And why did I create this thing? Because if anyone has ever ordered a food delivery, particularly a McDonald's or a, or a perishable product in any way, you know that after 15 or 20 minutes when your food arrives, particularly French fries from McDonald's, they've decomposed into their constituent elements of arsenic, plastic, and sawdust, what they're made from. Jokes aside, it's not a popular experience. It's a terrible experience, yet the whole world wants convenience through delivery of everyday goods, convenience store, hot food, and even coffees. So to just kind of put it into perspective, I have a little video here to show you how it works. You're going to see a food delivery to a very densely populated town on the west coast of Ireland, which is incidentally the dumbest place to start a drone delivery business. It's the world's largest wind tunnel. But you're going to see one of our autonomous aircraft flying and delivering a meal for three people um, on the west coast of Ireland. The aircraft descends to about 60 feet, and then you'll see the doors opening up, dropping the bag to the ground. And that flight time is about, outbound flight time is two minutes and 40 seconds. So we are delivering hot coffee as our number one by volume. 35% of our deliveries are cappuccinos, lattes, and so on. So drone delivery is faster. It's greener, it's safer, it's quieter, it's fun, and it's much more practical than a three-ton car carrying a 200-pound person delivering a hamburger, and we've already proven that. Very quickly to show you the comparison of three deliveries by drone versus the same three by car. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna let this run out for the first three, but you see in the center uh, are three drones taken off to Vivaldi. And this is a town about a two mile radius, 35,000 people here. The population density here is greater than the density of half of London, just so you know. So you see our first drone has completed its delivery in a minute and a half, second one, two minutes, and the third one, two minutes, 30. The, the car in green driving along is, I, I won't show you the whole video, but the car, we, and this is how delivery aggregators work, they'll batch delivery. So one driver will go out with two, three, or four orders each time. And by the, time, by the time the car has gotten to its first delivery, it's about six minutes, 40 seconds, and still has two more deliveries to go. Meanwhile, your coffee's cold, your, your fries are cold, and he's eaten half your fries as well. Uh, it's, a, it's a terrible experience, and most importantly, the economics don't work. It is not economically viable to do delivery with human beings in suburbs. So my business is looking, and we've, we've raised about $50 million so far from in venture funding, and we're looking at fixing those 5.2 billion deliveries that happen every single year. Uh, in, in fun numbers, it costs the big delivery aggregators in the USA between nine and $11 in, in operating cost per delivery, and the consumer pays about a 50 to 60% premium on the basket value in order to 
receive that delivery. So you have consumers paying a premium to get delivery. You have uh, restaurants paying huge commissions to aggregators to get that service and distribution. Um, and you have a driver that's on minimum wages risking their life and driving too fast to get the product to customers. So it doesn't work. And autonomy is the solution for it. And if I show you just how real it is, and I know this sounds crazy to everyone, it seems like the circus, but in, in Dublin and now in, in Hillwood, Texas, it is normal. It is not even drone delivery, it's just delivery. People, 38% of the households in this town, this busy town in Ireland, use the service more than twice a month. It is far more adopted than road-based delivery because it's so practical and so exciting. And the way I will explain that to you uh, with a video is, is show you two days of delivery. So a weekend's worth of deliveries, uh, as I said, to this town in North Dublin, 10 minutes from Dublin Airport. The red lines are the equivalent road-based deliveries that we're making. These are real commercial deliveries, profitable deliveries. Our unit flight economics, now we make more money when we uh, fly than uh, we lose, than we, it costs us. So that town in, in North Dublin, that's 500 unique homes. There's about 700 deliveries there, so lots of people getting more than one order across the two days. That is the world's most complex drone delivery operation by far. And the competitors in the space are Amazon. I'm sure you've all heard of Amazon drone delivery. We do more deliveries a day than Amazon do in a year in this town. So we're well ahead, and that's because of the regulatory environment that's in Europe is just a little bit further ahead of. Uh, where we are in uh, the USA. Um, this is our new aircraft, so what can we carry? All the typical questions I get answered, um, what can we carry? We can carry about eight gallons volumetrically of cargo, so uh, one large horse's head or four Happy Meals, um, eight pints of Guinness, uh, 12 coffees. So think of it that way. In terms of weight, just, just short of eight pounds of cargo, and that represents and the 80th percentile, sorry, the 85th percentile of hot food delivery, and it represents about the 90th percentile of all the other things that get delivered. So think hardware store, bookstore, uh, coffee, things like that. Um, one of our investors is a great example is Coca-Cola. And, and when you think about that, we're, we're a B2C business, we're a B2B business, we're a marketplace, so we allow all of the local vendors in the community use our system, use our infrastructure to reach 100,000, 200,000 customers in three minutes. And when you think of a big brand like Coca-Cola, what's, motiv what's motivating them uh, to have an investment in a drone delivery business? Well, big brands are looking for answers to distribution and they're looking for, for answers to logistics, last mile logistics. So our relationship with Coca-Cola and with Samsung and with Ben & Jerry's and a number of other very large brands allows those brands directly to reach consumers' homes. So you can open the MANA drone delivery app, you can get groceries from Tesco, you can get all of the food vendors, you can get a hardware store, bookstore in three minutes to your house and the future of getting stuff to your house is going to be by drones. This thing is better than Amazon Prime. It's a three minute, two minutes, 40 seconds flight at 120 kilometers per hour in a straight line and delivers directly to your back garden. And the number one, the number one question I get is when is it gonna be in the United States? It already is and it's gonna be in every suburb in the United States over the next three years. Thank you very much.